Hi there, welcome once again. If you landed directly to this video, I recommend to go through the introduction video first. You will find the link in the description. And if you already know about API Tester and want to see how we use API Tester app to create various requests using get, post, put and delete methods, then stay with me. My name is Kamal and you are with me on Extreme Automation. In this tutorial, we will be using regress.in to try various HTTP methods. Once you open their page, you will get the list of requests and responses and the response code. Now we start with get method by creating a request using API tester. The get method is used to retrieve information from a given server using the given URI. Let us try it out. We are using list users API here. So we need to click create new button, choose the get method from here and then give it a proper title. Then we can enter the URI. In this case, the URI is HTTPS request.in. API users and then we need to pass on the query string parameter which is page equals 2. Here we have one query string parameter and uh, we can have multiple also. Now if we run it we will get a 200 response code and this is the response. One point to note here is that get request can be cached. These should never be used when dealing with sensitive data. These have length restrictions and these are only used to request data, not to create or update data. Now let us uh, talk about POST method. POST is used to send data to a server to create or update a resource. The data sent to server with POST is not sent in query string parameters as uh, we were doing in GET method. But these are stored in request body of the HTTP request. So we create a request using API tester again and uh, to create a request again we need to click on this plus icon or we can click on this create new and then we need to select the method as post now uh, we need to uh, give the uri for this also so we give the uri as https request.in api users now we go to body and in body we select this form data you may also select raw and put it in json format if we select form data, we need to go to edit and then enter key value pairs, one key value in each line. If the body is nested JSON, then you can use the raw format. Now we send this request and here is the response. In get request, we got 200 as its status code and here we got 201. So 200 means that uh, the request is received and understood and it is being processed and 201 uh, status code indicates that the request is successful and as a result a resource has been created okay so that is the difference between get and post and we have tried both using api tester now let us move on to put method so post is used to only create a resource while put is used to create or update a resource so to try put method on api tester app we create a new request and we name it as update user and we put URI as HTTPS request.in API users 2. We specify the user that we want to update and we need to specify this in body and if we run, we get 200 for this also. Similarly, we can try out other request methods using API tester and remember that for all of this, we just use our mobile device. Hope you like the content and in the next video, we'll see GraphQL and other features. Goodbye till then.